The Untold Adventures of Biao. Season 1. Episode 3. It was almost a month since the rise of Mr. Zhao's corpse. It seemed that the peace in the village was gradually returning. After dinner, Zan Ni went to the garden to help her mother. While working, Zan Ni saw the figures of two men from afar. It was no others but Mr. Gong and Biao. She greeted and asked where they were going. Seeing Zan Ni made Biao extremely happy, so he quickly replied that they were going to the mountain and looking for the evil cat. Biao still could not fix his talkative personality and was about to tell everything. Seeing that, Mr. Gong frowned and stopped him. He told Biao to keep calm and not to be that enthusiastic in front of a girl. It turned out that Mr. Gong went up the mountain at night because of the black one-eyed cat of the Zhao family. The cat hid in the mountain and waited for the chance to harm people. Finally, they found its whereabouts and would like to get rid of it at once. On the way, Biao wondered where Fei could be because he really wanted Fei to go together. Actually, Fei was Biao's only friend in this village. Although Fei was a bit rude by nature, he was courageous and enthusiastic. Besides that, Fei also understood Biao so well that he often did not care much about Biao's actions. At somewhere, as if someone were talking about him, Fei suddenly let out a loud sneeze at the same time. After finishing dinner, he could not stand for staying at home so he went to the mountain's foot to catch fish. Speaking of going fishing, whenever Biao had free time, he always asked Fei to go fishing with him. Both of them were as good as the other and they could hit any fish that they targeted. Biao was on his way up the mountain with his father when he saw Fei catching fish by the riverbank. He thought in his mind so this was where that idiot was and called Fei immediately. Hey, Fei, why do you go fishing alone without asking me? Ah, it is Mr. Gong and Biao, is it? Where are you going? I'm going to catch an evil with my dad. We exorcise evil to protect this village, not as free as you to go fishing leisurely. We haven't done anything yet. You stop being bragging, Biao said in a pleasing voice to tease Fei. However, Mr. Gong stopped Biao even understanding his purpose. Fei was so honest and believed in Biao immediately. He blamed himself for being such ordinary. Fei released the big fish that he just caught and decided to follow Mr. Gong and Biao, did meaningful things. However, the fish turned to death just as released. The fish floated on the river and the blood was all around it. It was just an unlucky signal. But Fei had walk away was not aware of the incident just now. He hurried to join Mr. Gong and Biao. Biao and Fei kept arguing all the time on the way. The three of them passed two mountains and finally deep into the mountain. Biao did not stop teasing Fei. He said it would be so dangerous and it was still not late for Fei to go home. Fei responded that he was even braver than Biao and Biao would take care of himself. When they arrived at an empty land on a mountain slope, Mr. Gong told everyone to stop there. There was plenty of time, so they should rest for a while, eat some things to regain their stamina before going on the journey. Biao and Fei were still arguing at that time. Speaking of this black cat, neither Biao nor Fei knew how dangerous it was. Mr. Gong was also afraid that these two boys would be careless and underestimate the cat, then getting harmed. He took out the pipe. His face was a bit serious, recalled the horrifying story that had happened in the past. Indeed, that cat is not an ordinary one. Three years ago, I used to warn Mr. Zhao about that cat. But because Mr. Zhao loved it so much, he didn't listen to me to let it go. He also blamed that I was obsessed with the exorcism so that I saw evils in everything. He let out a long breath of smoke then slowly told the story of three years ago, when Mr. Zhao was still alive. 
Mr. Gong was walking in the village at that time and found Mr. Zhao sitting in front of the gate waiting for him. Hey Mr. Gong, you are here finally. Hi Mr. Zhao, why are you sitting out here? Actually, I've been waiting for you for a while. Wait for me? What's the matter finally? Come in first, let's have a drink with me then talk. Mr. Gong did not understand what happened, but he knew for sure that there must be something happened that made Mr. Zhao so upset. I have prepared a chicken to treat you today. So what happened? You keep going round and round. Slow down. There is no need to be rush. Let's have a drink first. Mr. Zhao was a homely person. He always had simple meals but that day, he prepared a chicken. So there was definitely something he wanted to ask for help. Let's take a look at what I got on my hand. I wonder if you can help me get rid of it. For a while, Mr. Zhao was no longer patient. He sat down and raised his hand so that Mr. Gong could see it. On Mr. Zhao's wrist, there were red sores emerged, and pus oozed out in disgusting. He suffered from it for almost two months and it still didn't get any better. Mr. Zhao did not know the cause either. Hearing the reason, Mr. Gong knew it was not beyond his expectation then laughed and said, You keep hiding. I am wondering why you would want to treat me to a big meal today. Why don't you go to the town? Go to the hospital to take care of it properly instead of asking a healer like me. You stop teasing me. It is not that I haven't gone anywhere. Actually, I have it treated and took medicine already. I spent a lot of money as well. However, it didn't work out or even get any better. It turned out that after knowing Mr. Gong was stopped from medical practice, Mr. Zhao did not want to bother him at all. He went to the town hospital for treatment, spent a lot of money, and took many medicines, but it did not help at all. While the two were talking, Mr. Zhao's nephew entered. His name was Bing and he was the son of Ling. Bing was six years old at that time. He ran into the house and told his grandfather bizarre things. Hello Mr. Gong. Grandpa, come here and see. Our cat can speak the human language. Hey, stop being nonsense. Kids are not allowed to tell lies. Mr. Zhao heard his nephew recount and amazed. He even scolded his grandson for not lying to everyone. I'm telling the truth. When I came home from school, I kept hearing someone said, Let me drink wine, let me drink wine. I thought it was you. But the voice is very strange, so I went to find out. I'm even not take off the scarf. Knowing that Zhao's grandson was just a kid and unable to make up such a story, Mr. Gong felt that something was wrong. But he didn't want to be so serious that scare the kid, so he tried to comfort him and asked for the story. Mr. Gong took a chicken thigh and gave it to Bing, then told him to tell the details. Zhao Bing was just a kid. After receiving such delicious food, he was so happy and innocently told the story of the black cat. Zhao Bing did not remember clearly when it started, but two times made him obsess and remember so well. Once he came home from school and found no adults at home. So he wanted to steal some candies. Suddenly he was in a panic when hearing a voice coming from the inner room. He was startled to think that an adult was at home and discovered his work. He crept into the inner room to see the voice came from whom. He was so panicked because there was no one in the room. Only his grandfather's black cat was next to the cupboard. He couldn't understand whose voice was. Just as Zhao Bing was curious, suddenly he heard the voice again. This time, he heard it clearly coming from that black cat. I want 49 broad beans. Hi cat, you can really talk. Because his grandfather raised this cat for many years and Bing played with it since childhood, the boy had nothing to fear. Just as Bing was curious, the black cat approached the boy and continued talking. The voice was ghostly and made Bing unforgettable. I want 49 broad beans. Do you have broad beans? I know where the beans are. 
It's next to the candy box. I can get it for you, but you can't tell grandpa that I stole the candies. Bing knew where his grandfather kept broad beans and immediately replied innocently. Another time, when there was no one at home, Bing was playing with the wooden doll. The black cat stood beside the bed and looked at him. Then it put on a hat. Bing couldn't help but panic. The cat said, Do you think I wear it beautifully? Not stopping there, the cat continued to put on Bing's blue shirt and then stood up, shook and expressed happily. Tell me, how does it look? You are just like humans. You know how to speak and wear clothes like humans. Like humans. Meow. Like humans. The black cat was in front of Zhao Bing, swaying around like a human and asked him. After receiving the answer from him, the black cat looked happy when Bing said it looked human. The meow of the black cat sounded like the chuckle of a human and it was so ghostly. While the black cat and Bing were talking, Bing's father suddenly entered. Seeing his father, Bing immediately told his father that the cat had the same human-like gestures and could speak the human language. His father looked at the cat in amazement. But the black cat had taken off the clothes and hat ever since. It laid sprawled on the boy's shirt like a normal cat. His father exasperated and scolded him for not being neatly and even said nonsense. Bing was eating the chicken while telling Mr. Gong and Mr. Zhao about the two strange stories of the black cat. I told dad. But he did not believe in me. He also said I made up the story. Mr. Gong understood this was not a simple matter. Mr. Zhao. Do you know how old that cat is? Probably more than 10 years old because it was already quite mature when I brought it back. As asked, Mr. Gong knew that the cat was more than 10 years old. But it was weird because the lifespan of a cat was only 6 years on average. In front of the kid, Mr. Gong didn't dare to say much. But in his mind, he doubted that the cat turned into a demon as it has lived for such a long time. Mr. Gong took a sip of wine and warned Mr. Zhao. Mr. Zhao, you are also an old man. Have you ever heard that the cat could live no longer than six years and the dog does not exceed eight years? I think you should be more careful. Those are all rumors. No one still believes in it nowadays. At that time, Mr. Gong discovered that a black cat was standing on the wall in the garden. So he immediately turned his back and asked Mr. Zhao if it was the one. Mr. Gong learned that a demon cat not only understood what humans said but also knew human words by looking at their lips. Mr. Zhao took a look and confirmed that it was his cat. Mr. Gong felt that the cat was always looking at him so he didn't say anything more. He took out a pipe of cigarettes and set it on fire. The cat sat on the wall and its eyes were always at Mr. Gong. It saw that he had no actions then jumped off the wall and went away. Seeing the cat was gone, Mr. Gong continued to talk about that black cat. Mr. Zhao, you should know that if dogs and cats live too long and have much contact with humans, they are likely to turn into demons. It would be best if you let it go. I cannot. It is always gentle and no harmful. Moreover, I raised it for so long. It stayed with me for a long time and I treated it as my children and grandchildren. How can I let it go? Mr. Zhao, as a friend, I just want to be good for you. Despite being warned by Mr. Gong, Mr. Zhao refused to let it go because he raised it for too long and treated it as a member of his family. Even so, Mr. Zhao was very thoughtful because of his longtime friendship and his love for the cat. He did not know how to deal with it. Mr. Gong continued to explain that you did not know, the cat wanted 49 broad beans because it was necessary to practice magic. It's been close to Bing all the time not because of loving the boy. The purpose was to unleash the seal. It is absolutely harmful to your grandson. What do you say? Will it harm my grandson Bing? No way. 
As Mr. Zhao heard that the cat would harm his grandson, he was so surprised. Mr. Gong took another sip of wine and continued. I told you everything so that you can take care of yourself. There is no good ending if having a demon in the house. Mr. Zhao listened in sadness and hesitation to answer Mr. Gong. Well, I will listen to you. Let's wait until I am getting better then I will think about how to handle it. Regarding your matter, you played with the cat and accidentally got scratched without knowing. It is terrible like this because of the poison released during its cultivation. You give me your hand. While holding the pipe, Mr. Gong took Mr. Zhao's pulse. He kept smoking and asked an odd question. Mr. Zhao, your wife also passed away for a long. Don't you think about taking one more step? Hey man, how old am I? Besides, my children are also grown up. I just need to relax in my old age and die. When Mr. Zhao was embarrassed and wondered why being asked such a question, he suddenly felt a sharp pain in his arm. It turned out that Mr. Gong asked the question to distract Mr. Zhao while he took the ash from the pipe and put it in the wound on Mr. Zhao's hand. Mr. Gong told Mr. Zhao tried to hold it a bit more, it would get over soon when Mr. Zhao yelled in pain. But indeed, it was effective. Even it was really painful, but the itching stopped. They continued to joke around. Because you treat the illness like this, it is no wonder why you are stopped from being a healer. Don't dream of getting any better without me. At this time, Mr. Gong stood up and said goodbye to Mr. Zhao. I'm back home now. Remember what I told you. I know, I know. Thank you very much for helping me. But a few days later, because of love for the black cat, Mr. Zhao just let the cat get out of the house. He did not expect that such a little weakness would cause disaster after all. After telling the two young men about that story, Mr. Gong continued saying, that cat was not successful in using Mr. Zhao's body to transfer the soul. It is very stubborn, then definitely not giving up. But Biao, who was neither afraid of heaven nor hell, after listening to the story, still felt no scared at all. He thought no matter how good it was, it was still a cat at the end. Dad, that cat is just a little unusual. Except it can speak human language, nothing is terrifying. Then you are wrong. It was successful in using the body to transfer the soul. It is not as simple as before anymore. The cat has cultivated into a black-haired Jiangxi. Black-haired Jiangxi. It's impossible. As soon as he heard Mr. Gong mentioned the black-haired Jiangxi, Fei did not understand what it was. However, Biao understood somewhat and felt deeply scared inside. Mr. Gong lifted his head to look at the night sky, took a breath and smoked into nothingness. He knew that the time had come. He told the two boys to prepare to leave quickly. In the quiet night sky, no one knew that they were about to face a devastating battle with that demon cat. 